Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? How's it going? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, Claudia, how are you? I'm so sorry, teacher. Oh, what's going on? Are you tired? Are you tired? Yes, teacher. Sleepy? <laughs> so, so. Okay. Uh, Juan Carlos. Hello, Juan Carlos. Good evening. Hi. Hello, Carla. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodriguez. Hello, Carlita. Hello, Juan Carlos. Uh, hi, Brene Giovanni Martinez. Hello. I'm driving right now. Sorry. Oh, okay, Juan Carlos. Got it. No problem. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Hello, Jacqueline. Jackie. Jackie. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Jackie. Fernando Linares. Hello, Fernando. How's it going, Fernando? Good. Everything okay, Fernando? Oh, I had I had a, a problem. Well, I don't know what it was. But we're gonna start checking our platform. Just give me a couple of seconds. And uh we're gonna be checking this, okay? Look at this. Uh so we we have been working with um okay. So I think it was here. So just let me check it. Lesson three. Okay. We're gonna start here with uh, lesson objective 2.10. We're gonna be checking a reading. Uh, in this class, you will read an article about technology in the future, develop skills in, in uh, well, and identifying a paragraph and, and, and identifying a paragraph topics and reading for specific information. Okay, so look at this. So here we have our reading, a day in your life. Instructions, read the article, check the true, if that's true or false uh, for each statement about the future. Let's see, let's check that. And then later we're gonna check um, this, okay? So maybe if you haven't worked on that, so it's gonna be useful. Okay, so let me know if you can see that. Can you see that? Is it clear? Okay. Can you see that? Yes. 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 Okay, good. Okay, look at this. Um people, uh let's see, we have uh, a day in your life in the year 2020, my goodness. So we're all now, we're three years late. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we're gonna scan the article, then add, uh, add the correct heading to each paragraph. Uh, the heading is el encabezado, okay? And how do we scan? We look for specific information, okay? Cuando escaneamos, buscamos información específica. Uh, the headings for each of, uh, of each of these paragraphs are communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, and working. So we have to read each of these paragraphs and identify which heading is uh, the best for each of these uh, paragraphs. Okay. Look at this. Let's see. Um, I think I'll need a volunteer for the first paragraph. Well, I'm going to start with the first one and then I'm going to leave you on your own, okay? People used to know more or less how their children would live. Uh, now things are changing so quickly. 
that we don't even know what our uh, own lives will be like in a few years. What follows is how experts see the future, okay? Let's see. So we're gonna check the first one, volunteer. So who wants to go with the first one? First paragraph, let's see. First paragraph, this one. So would you like to start? Raul or Saul? Saul, Saul. Okay. Yeah. Your daydream behind the wheel of your car. But that's okay. You have it on automatic pilot. Okay. With is the high tech computer. You can know how to get you home safely. Okay, well, that's interesting, right? So you're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it in an automatic pilot and with its high-tech computers, your car knows how to get your home safely. Okay, so which could be the heading for that um, paragraph? So which would be the heading? Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around or working. What do you think? Which should be the best heading? ¿Cuál podría ser el encabezado perfecto para, para ese párrafo que acabamos de leer? Maybe automatic pilot of your life. Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, well. Then add the correct heading to each paragraph. The headings are this one, communicating, sorry, communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around. Oh, that, that was one, okay. Oh, and, uh, uh -huh. Relaxing or relaxing. Relaxing, okay. So we're gonna try with that one. Relaxing. So, and do you know if there is, if there is a car uh, that do this activity? Is there any car like that daydreaming? <laughs> like that, like that one. Is there any car now exist or not? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, probably not, right? Well, but I think I think that um, Tesla is one of them, right? So they, I think Tesla. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, uh, a few cars in the world uh, can can go. Uh, I don't know. For example, if you start in automatically, mm -hmm. but they cannot be uh, drive for days of to. For example, to job for uh, for your house, mm -hmm. it, it's not exist that that system. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So as I mentioned before, in the year twenty twenty, uh, we <laughs> we already passed that in that year. But it's interesting. Okay, we can discuss on what we know now. Let's see. Uh, second paragraph. Uh, Raúl, now it's your turn, Raúl. You have mm -hmm. Raul, you hear Raul? Raul, hello. El segundo párrafo. Yes, please, second paragraph. You're dreaming behind the world or you car, but that's okay. You have is automatic pillow with the night detects computer. You know how you where you home separately. Oh, it was this one. This is the second paragraph. This, uh, this one, sorry. Your head. You have your head for the the kitchen when you were home. You order. 
groceries by computer and how in there be delivery you pay for them before they are the money was automatic delivered they do sell for you back a con nobody use cash anymore okay that was interesting too you have for the kitchen when you get home so i mean you go right so you have for the kitchen when you get home you order groceries by computers an hour ago and they've been delivered you pay for them before they arrived the money was automatically deducted from your bank account nobody uses cash anymore guys do you use cash to pay or you use your credit card what do you use credit cards or cash to pay cash, cash. okay I use the cash. Jacqueline, uh, Raul, Carlos, what do you use? Credit card, cash? Credit card. Credit card. Mm -hmm. Cash. Okay. Marco, Carla, Ruth, Rene, cash or credit cards? I use cash. Cash. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Well, now, nowadays, what do you think? Um, is it safe? Is it safe to use credit cards or cash? So which is safer, cash or credit cards? Well, in my opinion, I think using cash is better, right? It's safer, it's safer for me. So how about you? Well, I think so, but well, you know, paying online, it's okay too. <laughs> okay. So which could be the heading for these uh, texts? So which could be the heading? Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around or working? Shopping. Shopping. Okay. Shopping. Okay, let's see. Um, Jackie, could you help us, Jackie, with what's for lunch? What's for lunch? Jacqueline, help us with the reading. Aquí nos ayuda con la lectura, Jacqueline. So, what's for lunch? What for lunch in the OLA? You used to stop up to get hamburger or pizza. Now, you use your diagnostic machine to find out which food your body needs. Need. Your food preparation machine makes your a salad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's for lunch? That's the question. What's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Stop off means uh, when you, uh, let's say you stop and then you get, uh, like, let's say like you go and buy something for a short period of time, okay? So this is a short uh, pass while you're uh, going to another place, right? Es una pequeña para, let's say. Uh, you, used to uh, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which foods your body needs. It sounds crazy, right? <laughs> But I don't know if you have seen that machine. <laughs> Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. So what do you think about this paragraph? Do we use a, a diagnostic machine to find out which foods your body needs? Do we use it? Do we have one? Tenemos alguna? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. They, they yeah. are hungry then. They want to eat something. Uh huh. But do we have a machine? <laughs> Just where our stomach, or solo nuestra pancita cuando nos pide comida. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, because it says that in 2020, I can't this again, 2020. So we're going to have a machine that diagnostic, it's a diagnostic machine 
to find out uh, to find out which food your body needs. Do we have it? Tenemos alguna? I don't know. No, I don't think so. No, me neither. Okay. Okay. So which could be the um, the heading for this paragraph? Heading. Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, working. Eating. 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 Yes, right. Eating. Is it true or false? True or false? What do you think? False. Oh, yeah, I think that's false, right? I haven't seen anything. And maybe with this one, yeah, that's true. Uh, somehow there are some cars, right? Like that one. And, um, okay. And the same for this one, sure, right. Okay, let's see, after lunch, uh, somebody, uh, could you help us with this one? Claudia, Claudia, you here, Claudia? Help us with the next paragraph, after lunch. Claudia Maria. Mm -hmm. It was for lunch. After lunch. No, this one. After lunch. After lunch. At, after lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here, you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. Okay, good. After lunch, you go down the hall uh, to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. So you never have to commute to work anymore. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? After lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. What's commute? Commute. Commute? What's that? Commute. What's commute? And what is whole? Ideas? Um, any idea? Let's commute. No ideas, guys? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, right. There's plus answer. So how do you commute? Um how do you commute to your work? I commute by bus, for example. So I go by bus. Okay, there's plus in hall, what's hall? You're gonna give you a clue? The hall, the salon. Uh -huh. Sala. Okay, Sala. so after lunch you go down the hall. So your home office, here you have everything you need to do your work and you never have to commute to work anymore. So what do you think? Um, is it, what is the heading for this uh, paragraph? Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, working. Working teacher. Yeah, right. So guys, do you work at home? Do you have a home office work or a job? I mean, or do you go to what? Do you have an on-site position? Home office or on-site positions? Is it true or false, by the way? So what do you think? Is it true? Raul, Saul, Carlos, Claudia, is it true or false? I think it's true. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, true. I think it's right. So after the COVID, wow. uh -huh. yeah, Saul? It's, I think it's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too, yeah. Indeed, <laughs> right, we're uh, having a class online and I'm working from home, right? Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, that's home office. Um, okay, let's see. A volunteer for the next paragraph. Maybe Juan, uh, well, Juan Carlos is driving. Like Carla Abigail, Carlita, will you help us with the paragraph uh, that says your information? Okay. Your information screen says that you received a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You set your computer to, tra to translate Portuguese, Portuguese into English. Your co-worker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. Okay, interesting. Okay, so what do you think about this one? Your information, I'm going to read it again. Your information screen says that you received a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your co-worker's face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. Okay. Good. So what is the meaning for set? Set. What's set? Set. What is it? Set. Your information screen says that you received a message from a coworker in Brazil. You said your computer to translate. Uh huh. I think it's communicating. Communicating. Okay, good. But what is set? Set means? Como configurar. Configurar. Okay. So you configure. Okay. Configurar. Or you said something, you would say. Establecer, right? Configure that. And uh, you think it's communicating, right? Communicating. Okay. Uh, by the way, true or false, guys? True or false? Marco, Carlos? Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you repeat the question? Ah, yeah. I was asking if this is true or false, this text. So do you think that we have like... um? Well, we we have video calls where um there is a translation while while you're talking with uh, when somebody doesn't know your language. So what do you think? It's true or false? Yes, yes it's true, teacher. Uh -huh. the, the computer has the translator. Is there any any platform or application that help us with this? Yeah, an application. I think. Uh huh. Uh, I don't think it's false because you have the option to translate. You have the option to translate certain uh, pages, but mm -hmm. not in that case. <clears throat> well, basically, I think that depends, right? Because I have seen some, uh, for example, Zoom. Zoom has this type of. Uh, uh, of uh, let's say features mm -hmm. you can be talking with someone and if you activate this uh, feature you can see that translation mm -hmm. but there are some others that don't okay okay uh, let's see and the last paragraph uh, let's see could you help us uh, maybe fernando fernando you hear fernando yeah i'm here Okay, help us with the last one. You finish working. Okay. Uh, you finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look so the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about how about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future. Mm, okay. Okay, good. So what do you think? What about this paragraph? Uh, which is which could be the heading? So you finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future. So which is the heading for this one? Yeah, relaxing. Relaxing. I, I think so too. Relaxing. Yeah, indeed, we relax. Right. So relaxing. Okay, back to the future. Sorry, yeah. oh. Sorry, what means getting around? 
Getting around. Yep. Mm. Well, you know, I haven't seen one like that one, but probably there's one that matches with that one. Uh, okay. Number? Um, I, I mean the in the titles. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, the headings. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about number one. I'm thinking about number one. Uh, you're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it at the Mario Pilot. It's with a high-tech computer. Your car knows how to get your home safely. Oh, well, probably we need to check that, right? Because I think that that's relaxing. No, you use the diagnostic machina, which was, mm -mm, no. After lunch, getting around. Okay, so maybe we need to check that. Maybe through the questions that we have down, we can discover that because I think that's relaxing for the last one. Victor from your bank account. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I have some doubts about the first one. The first one, well, that's the only one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, well, in the paragraph, uh, say that uh, you move to uh, in your house, in your car, for example, and only for that, I think maybe going around in the first one and relaxing in the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be. Mm -hmm. So I just think that the only possibility could be the first one because the, the, the rest is like... It's another title or heading. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. But, uh, well, I think if we have some questions with that uh, information, well, maybe we can get the right one. So it could be this one, getting around and this one relaxing. But I still have some doubts, you know, because they sound similar, very similar. Okay. Yeah. yeah but thanks. Thanks. That's important. You know, that's part of the reading. <laughs> that's part of reading. Let's see. Uh, let's say, uh, let's check this. You need to pay attention while driving, true or false? <laughs> Come on, guys, tell me. Tell me that's, that's true. <laughs> okay. Well, in the real life, it's, uh, it's true. But uh, in the paragraph, it say the, it's, it's a false. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, right? How about second one? You pay for your groceries when they arrive? True or false? Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. yeah. People don't use cash anymore. True or false? False. False. <clears throat> Indeed, false. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. At uh, the first and the second one, uh, both is spelled. I don't know why, but it's spelled. Which one? Uh, the first one, uh, you need to pay attention while driving. And the second one, you pay for your grocery when they arrive. Mm -hmm. So you think they are false? Yeah. Yep, in the, in the system, they are false. Mm, okay, we're gonna check that. So you need to pay attention while driving. Uh, maybe if this is based on the reading, yes, let me see. Read the article, check true or false for each statement about the future. Oh, okay, yes. Mm -hmm. So you need to pay attention while driving, true or false, based on what we have read. So what do you have? You have false, right? Yeah, 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 because in the first paragraph, I say that uh, the the automatic pilot uh, can drive to your house, and mm -hmm. well, in in that case, I no need to pay attention when <laughs> when, when I was driving. Yeah, but we all well, but we all need to <laughs> to get a test, yeah. <laughs> and that's too it's, expensive, right? But, uh, yeah, you yeah. know. Okay, and the second one, uh, you pay for your browsers when they arrive. Mm -hmm. What do you have, guys? 
Not really, right? No, not really. Not really. Okay, let's see. Uh, people don't use cash anymore. True or false? So now, what do you think? True. True, right? True. Okay, you usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch in the future. So what do you think? You usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch? False. False, right? So, okay, so you can select that. Uh, you need to go to the office every day, true or false? False. Okay. You and your co-workers have to speak the same language? False. Okay. When you get a message, you can see the sender's face. True. Mm -hmm. True. And number eight, you have to go to a video store to rent movies. No, right. False. Okay, so let's check that. Good job. So I think that you have done that before, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we continue with our second part, which is, um, well, let me see. Okay, this one. Uh, I'm gonna skip this one, you know, it's like vocabulary. You can do that on your own. And we're gonna be checking um, this, uh, the usage of relative classes of time. Then we're gonna have it to check a video. So this is just a short video and then we'll continue with the second part. Yo, I want you to know what a relative class is. So pay attention. A relative clause is to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, if we want to talk about time. Okay, so this is basically super easy. We're going to be checking relative clauses. We're going to focus on a relative clause that we used to talk about time. Uh, well, relative clauses of time, indeed. And we use when to talk about, about it. Um. We continue through this. I'm gonna let me see. It's like, well, that, that was too far. Let me see. Okay, over here. So I'm gonna show you an exercise, but before you're doing so, I'm gonna show you, okay, how to use this uh, relative uh, class. Let me see. So basically we have uh, two types of relative classes. We have uh, defining relative classes and non-defining relative classes in order to talk about, uh, well, time or a different uh, thing. But uh, we need first to understand what a relative class is. Look at this. Um, a relative class is a part of a sentence beginning with a relative pronoun. So relative pronoun is basically uh, a double H, right? So as a pronoun, who, which, that, whom, whose, or another, like when and where. So we're gonna be checking this one, right? When for time. In certain cases, this pronoun can be omitted. For example, um, my brother who is 34 is a teacher. So where is the relative class in this sentence? ¿Cuál es la relative class? So it's the one um, okay, holding the pronoun, the pronoun, which is cool, right? who is 34. My brother, who is 34, is a teacher. So each of these relative pronouns, it's different depending on what pronoun you use. For example, who for people, which for options, that can be, um, can replace who, or can replace a, 
what, right? We're gonna be checking some more uh, examples. We have two types of relative clauses. Look at this and try to identify if there is in any difference. Vamos a ver alguna diferencia. The boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. The boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. So do you notice any difference? Is there any difference, by the way? ¿Habrá alguna diferencia ahí, chicos? The boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. The boys in my Home. class. Uh-huh. The, the comments in, in, in the paragraph of who wear glasses. Mm -hmm. We have two commas, right? The boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. The boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. But, okay, we're going to be checking what is the difference between that two sentences and what is the difference in the meaning, okay? Look at this. We have relative classes, defining relative classes, I mean, especificativas. And uh, why do we call them defining classes? Because they give us information we need to understand the sentence. There are no commas in these defining cl relative classes. And if you take the relative class away, the sentence doesn't make sense. Okay. In this case, in this kind of sentences, who or which can be replaced by that. Uh, these ones are called defining relative classes. Okay, so here you have uh, here you have all the information that we need. Aquí tenemos toda la información que necesitamos para comprender las defining relative classes. Remember, they give us information we need to understand the sentence. There are no commas. If you take the relative class away, the sentence doesn't make sense. And uh, that can replace who or which. For example, the boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. Imagine if I eliminate the relative clause, okay? The boys in my class. Okay, so we have the boys in my class. That's okay, but it doesn't make sense. So it's uh, it sounds like you need something else, right? So the boys in my class, that's why I need a relative class. Okay, the boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. Entonces acá, si yo quito mi relative class, no tiene sentido. Necesito más información. Necesito una oración independiente y una dependiente. ¿Cuál es la dependiente? The boys in my class. ¿Por qué? Porque me hace falta esa idea principal. ¿Qué, qué pasa con ellos? Ah, ok. Usan, uh, quienes usan lentes son attractive, right? Let's see. Um, we check another one. That's number, uh, okay, second part, non-defining relative classes. The boys in my class, comma, who wear glasses, comma, are attractive. These relative classes give extra information, the same as defining classes. Es lo mismo, es lo mismo. Solo que tenemos una pequeña diferencia acá. And uh, look at this. The difference is if you leave out the relative class between commas, it still makes sense. Entonces, dejamos o quitamos esa relative class, esa no defining relative class. Todavía nuestra oración tiene sentido por sí sola. Veamos, veamos el ejemplo. Uh, the boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. So imagine if I eliminate this as I leave out that relative class. And se si quito ahí la relative class, entre comas, mi oración todavía tiene sentido. So the boys in my class are attractive. Pero como son explicativas, me ayudan a proveer más información, información additional information. So the boys in my class are attractive, that's okay. So you can leave out the relative class. But if you um, leave it, so you provide extra information. Entonces, puede o no puede estar ahí. Cuando la ubicamos es porque queremos eh, dar información adicional. 
Pero en este caso, las non-defined van entre comas. Okay, so these are called cool non-defined relative clauses. I don't know, do you have any question now? Any question about it? In where, what part of the, of the vocabulary we do use this type of exercise? Mm. When you want to provide extra information, cuando ustedes quieren dar información adicional, uh, por ejemplo, acá, cuando son defining, son especificativas para aclarar algo, la información que necesitamos para entender la oración, las defining. Uh, recuerden que ahí los tenemos que ir utilizando los uh, pronouns, who, which, what, depende de a qué nos queremos referir. Um, for example, the place where I live, el lugar donde yo vivo, okay, mm -hmm. the place where I live is uh, beautiful, for example. Entonces son especificativas o, o también, en este caso, si sí es una defining, ¿verdad? la que no va entre comas, que una depende de la otra. Entonces, en este caso, en este caso, si yo quito la relative clause, no tiene sentido porque, ok, si yo digo el lugar donde yo vivo, ok, pero what happened with the place where you live, ok, yeah. so the, the place where you live, uh, where I live is beautiful, it's amazing, ok, entonces necesito yeah. esta defining relative clause para que mi oración tenga sentido completo, and now, uh -huh, with, the, with the second one, y con esta, con la segunda, el segundo caso, uh, with non-defining clauses, Acá, pues, pueden dejar la relativa fuera. No hay problema, tiene sentido. Pero cuando lo ubicamos, damos información adicional. So you provide extra or additional information. So the boys in my class who wear glasses are attractive. Pero también puedo, puedo quitarla. No, no hay problema. The boys in my class are attractive. Okay. Pero no, y aquí estoy explicando. Okay. Los que usan aquellos o quienes usan lentes, esos son los, los atractivos. <laughs> la inteligente. <laughs> okay. That's why, that's the difference between uh, relative clauses, defining and non-defining. Y esto es cuando se quiere explicar algo. Okay, so let's see. Let's check some uh, basic relative particles. Entonces, tenemos ahí la relative clause. Um, uh, en la plataforma solo aparece when. Voy a tratar de darles eh, por lo menos eh, seis pronouns. Who, which, where, uh, when, I think. Ya vamos a ver los otros. Uh, we use, as you know, we use who for people. She is the person who helped me. Ella es la persona quien okay, me ayudó. So it's for who. Which for things or objects. This is the book which I bought last week. Where for places. Madrid is the city where I have lived for 39 years. Ella es la persona que, quien me ayudó. Este es el libro. El, uh, que yo compré la semana pasada. O el cual yo compré la semana pasada. Y, uh, Madrid es la ciudad donde he vivido por... 39 años. Bueno, ahí ya no son preguntas, ahí son pronouns, right? Están formando nuestra relative clause. Ya vamos a ir otro ejemplo. Me sugiero ahí que van tomando alguna captura. That, recuerden que that puede ser, eh, lo utilizamos para personas o cosas también eh, in defining clauses, solamente con defining clauses. Para sustituir ahí eh, el who también. Poder sustituir ahí. Uh, Pete is the boy that. O Pete is the boy who. This is the car that. O sea, ese that puede reemplazar cualquiera. Pete is the boy that. For example. Uh, that helped me. Pete is the boy that. Brought a book, for example. Pete is the boy that. Came yesterday. Okay. And we also have when for time. Eso es la que estamos, pues, vamos, vamos a estar viendo por ahí más adelantito en los ejercicios. But when for time, I met him the day when it was my birthday. Lo conocí el día 
cuando, I don't know how you, how you do it in Spanish. El día, yo diría el día que fue mi cumpleaños. Okay? But remember that we use when. Uh, le estoy tratando de dar una um, traducción uh, como lo haríamos usualmente. Lo conocí el día de mi cumpleaños. Okay? O cuando fue mi cumpleaños, uh, lo conocí. Pero ahí ustedes eh, depende de verdad cómo, cómo lo, lo hablemos nosotros al español. Ahí lo único que necesitamos identificar acá es que when es para tiempo. Okay, cuando, okay, so I met him the day when it was my birthday. I met him the day when uh, I was sad, for example. Or when I, I met him the day when I lost my job, for example. Uh, that's the boss, okay. I met him when I... Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, I met him the day when I was working in that uh, coffee shop, for example. So in here, the most important part is to uh, understand that when is for time, right? Coffee shop. It's not storage shop. And we also have a course for possession. My pupils, whose homework is never done, will fail the exam. Mis estudiantes, mis pupilos, cuya tarea nunca está hecha, van, uh, fallarán su examen, fallarán el examen. So, whose is possession? Cuyo, cuyo, cuya tarea. Okay, um, let's see, do you have any questions so far about this? If yeah, no, teacher, teacher, uh, uh, question. Yes, I will. So, in, in, this, in this type of... Um, how do you say? Mm, sentences? Phrase. 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 We can use it was my birthday or when mm -hmm. I. Oh, I yeah. Can... You can use any pran any subject pranu. When yeah. it was my birthday. The thing is that. This it is referring to the birthday. That's why you're using it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You're referring, I met him the day when it was my birthday. Ah, lo que pasa es que ella no se está refiriendo a la persona, se está refiriendo a Lía. Okay. Thank you. Okay, any other question? So if you don't have any question, we continue with uh, with the exercise. And we're gonna be checking that. So you're gonna see this is simple. So we just need some practice. Okay, so look at this. How much do you know about these uh, days and months? Read the sentences and complete them by choosing the best information. Number one, New Year's Day is a day when, okay, so what do you think? So can you see that? Um, let me know. Ya se ve, se ve bien ahí. Yes, teacher. Okay, New Year's Day is a day when? What do you think? Brazilians celebrate carnival. People have parties with family and friends. Many young adults choose to get married. People in many countries honor workers. People express their love to someone, where people oh. sometimes play tricks on friends. People express their love to someone. To someone. Hmm. Some, someone. Let's see, one more, some more opinions. How about the rest? How about the rest? People express their love to someone. What else, what else? Think about it. Think about it. So, which would be the best answer? So, okay. uh huh. People have parties with family and friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody else? One more. I need one more. We have one and one. Vamos a ver. Necesitamos desempatar. 
New Year's Day is the day when? The second one. The second one, okay. People have parties with family and friends. April Fool's Day is the day when? April Fool's Day. How do you translate this into Spanish? April Fool's Day. La fiesta de alguien que está... People sometimes play three on friends. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tricks on friends. Yes, indeed, right? And how about Spanish? How do you say Dia de los Inocentes? I guess, right? You know, something like that. April Fool's Day. Something like that, I think. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's uh, the April Fool's Day. That's, I think so. That's April Fool's Day. People sometimes play tricks on friends. May and June are the months when. Okay, so let me move this a little. May and June are the months when. What do you think, guys? May and June. May and June are the months when? Brazilian celebrates carnival, I think. What? I do. I <laughs> already, <laughs> I uh -huh. already do this. Uh... <laughs> hey, that was okay. <laughs> Brazilian celebrate carnival. Mm. May and June adult shoes. To get married. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> Number three. Number three. Number three. Okay. Sorry. Many young adults choose to get married. Yes. Well, I didn't know that, you know. <laughs> wow, that, that's interesting. May and June. Well, if you're thinking about getting married, you can select May or June. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Valentine's Day is a day when Valentine's Day is a day when uh -huh. people spread, people love spread to their love to someone. Mm, yeah, they love to someone. And Labor Day is a day when Labor Day. People in my in country, country call for workers. Uh -huh. People in many countries honor workers. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And February is the month when? February. Syrians celebrate, February. Syrians celebrate carnival. Okay, February. It's the month when Brazilians celebrate carnival. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> okay, that was okay. Perfect, guys. Good job. And you see you did it without having the class. <laughs> okay, let's see. And just to um to finish, oh well, we'll continue tomorrow, right? Uh we'll continue with our point three point six uh seven. And I'm gonna pass the tennis, let's try. Well, I think we have some uh, some minutes. Yeah, I know, I remember that. Okay. Let me see. It was 3.5. Uh, uh, okay. Specific information. Okay. Okay. We're gonna listen to the audio and answer the following questions. Oh, okay. So we have to type in full answers for question number two. Okay. Type the number in letters. So I think we did it yesterday with Saul. Yes, teacher is. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna play the audio and then uh, well, I think you already have this, but I'm gonna play the audio and we're gonna try to answer this together. Okay. Page fifty-two, exercise five. Listening. Try. Carnival time. Part A. Try to take some notes, okay? 
Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about Carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, I'm gonna play it again. Just once more. Okay. And then just give it a couple of seconds. Okay, let me see. Okay, I lost it. It's here. Page 52, exercise five, listening, carnival time. Part A, Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Page 52, Exercise 5, Part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a Samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for Carnival. Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. 
It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay, let's see. Uh, what is a carnival, guys? Party. A mm -hmm. party. It's a party. Okay. How long does it last? Four whole days. Day. It lasts? Four? Four whole days. Four, Four days. Whole days. Okay, when is it? It's on late February. It's on February. Mm -hmm. Late February. February. Or early. Or early March. Early March. Okay, good. What is that samba? Dance. It's a dance. It's a dance. It's a dance. Okay, good. Let's see. Maybe we got some. Okay. Maybe it's part of the pretty fine answer. A party. Mm -hmm. solo, solo es oh, party. party. Just party. Just party. Okay. Just... Well, you know, it could be it's a party. <laughs> okay, it lasts four days. How about this one? Four whole days. Four whole days. Four whole days. Four days this way? Four whole yeah. days. Four whole days. Four. Four. Four whole days. Four whole days? Yes. Four, four. Okay, maybe I didn't get it. For four whole Only days. Only four days, teacher. Mm. Mm, I don't get it. So, could, you, could you tell me? Four days? Only that? Yeah, four days. Okay. So it's four, 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 four whole days, days teacher. Four, four, four whole days. Four. This way? Four. 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 Four whole days. Four, four, four. Okay, so I'm going to check that one. I got it. I had it yesterday. I don't know why it isn't working today. <laughs> okay, but I got it. it. It's four days. Okay, it's four days. Four, uh, four, four whole days. days. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Four, four whole days. So I'm going to copy. <laughs> yeah, the chat is. Okay. Yeah, it's it's funny. You know when it's something. It's like um. Falta el punto, teacher. Falta el punto. Okay. Yeah. No. It's it's like when you pronounce uh, rise, raise, or right, right. <laughs> okay. Good. Good job. Okay. So I have gonna... a, I have a doubt, teacher. Where is it? Tell me. Um, in the number number three, mm -hmm. uh, here, mm -hmm. why he doesn't say on late February on the on the on the uh, what do you say that that sound here um, on the. Um, I didn't get it. Dice, dice, o sea que aquí él dice, it's all, it's held. It is held day February or early March. Mm -hmm. Entonces, pero la respuesta es, it's on late February or early March. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, ok, so let's listen to that again. ¿No? ¿Y se lo escuchamos de nuevo? ¿Por acá? Creo que era la segunda parte, ¿verdad? Let me check. Uh, no, no charging. Mm, no charging. Ok, no, no me está cargando, pero lo voy a checar. Lo voy a checar para buscarles el, el pedacito. Ok. Okay, let's see. I'm going to pass the tennis list. Uh, please say present. Let me see. We've intermediate two. Okay. Okay, Carlos Alberto Martinez. Present. Thanks, Carlos. Nice. <laughs> He's so happy. Claudia Maria Garcia. Present teacher. Thanks, Claudia. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Si hay alguien de, de ahí, vente por ahí. Irma Jacqueline, Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Okay. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. I know you're here. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara. Okay. Jennifer Raquel Ayala. Okay. Juan Carlos Cubías Bonilla. Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thanks. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Thanks, Luis. Marco. Teacher, soy yo, <laughs> Jacqueline Sarmeño. Okay, thank you, thank you, Jacqueline. Teacheras, a mí no me mencionó. ¿Cuál es su nombre? Juan Carlos Maravilla. Juan Carlos, ah, oh sí. Y Juan Carlos Cubillas Bonilla está acá. Ahí se ve conectado, teacher. Juan Carlos, vamos, Cubillas. Me parece que he oído Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos Cubías. Es esto. Carla, um, ok, vamos a ir siguiente. Luis Fernando Linares. Ahí está Luis. Luis Fernando Present. Linares. Ok, Luis. Marco Antonio Quijano Eguizábal. Present. Thanks, Marco Antonio. Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present. Okay, thanks, Raúl Antonio. René Giovanni Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ruth Mariela Samaya de Guardado. Here teacher. Thanks, Ruth. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present. Thanks. And Stephanie Jamilet Pérez. Stephanie Jamilet Pérez Romero, no? Okay, well, that's all for today, guys. I will see you in our next class. So that's going to be tomorrow. So have a good night. I'll see you in our next class. If you have a question, you, you can stay, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, good night bye. teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Saul, questions? Uh, may I ask you a question about something not relative to this, but it's about English too, and then about my 
my development about my oh your development my English but, but it's uh, but it's about um if I go to apply um some kind of job when they then when they need to I to um speak speak fluently so mm -hmm. I need some more practice or more classes or uh, for example if I go to a call center to so I need to um, start more more speaking speaking yeah more. I was speaking or what mm -hmm. okay so I need so... to so so you need what a suggestion. So a what suggestion. do I need exact, exactly for 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 for, for call center? To, for call center. What do you need? Well, first you need to master the tenses. The tenses. Mm -hmm. the tenses. Uh, second, you need to know about the, uh, let's say about the um, the things or the technical, uh, let's say vocabulary or things that you're going to do but um first try to reach the percentage of the speaking uh, speaking primero tenemos que desarrollar el, el, el speaking tratar de manejarlo en un okay, 75 80 percent 80 percent and no. then uh -huh, and then you have to go to the call center and then they train they give you a train Después va con el, el, con el training. Entonces, pero ya para eso, digamos que sería como ahí le, le, le enseñan como más directamente qué es lo que va a hacer. Depende de qué se vaya a dedicar, si es a cobro o sea, a venta. Ya o sea, creo que le, le hacen una pequeña prueba y le, le, le tienen que enseñar algunas cosas de, de qué es lo que va a hacer. But uh, I don't think that, that's not all. That's not all the case always doesn't say uh, maybe what you should do is to uh, practice with uh, listening you're listening maybe i could suggest you some websites so you can practice your listening and uh one of uh, the activities that you could do is trying to let's say uh, uh, record yourself record yourself um, with some conversations and trying to imitate uh, what you listen, right? What you listen. Mm, besides that, try to answer some questions like uh, there are some websites that you could use. Maybe I could suggest you one. Leave me a text and I could send you some, some websites. Do you have my WhatsApp? Yeah, I have a what I have a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know we need to practice a lot, right? So one hour it's not really enough. Mm -hmm. It's just a little, right? Yeah. But I think that you could you can do it. So if you spend a lot of time practicing, listening, uh trying to answer some questions, so this will help you a lot. Mm -hmm. So as much as you practice, mm -hmm. so that would be a great. So you'll see a huge difference. No, no, va a notar una gran diferencia. Entre más se practique con el listening, um, más que todo listening y tratar ahí del del reading. Y también si va, va de cuentas que son para de, de chat también. O sea, ahí también puede ser este el writing también. Uh, le voy a enviar un website. Voy a ver un website. Solo déjame un mensajito por ahí para, para, para no, no, no perderlo ahí. Uh -huh. So I don't know if that was uh, related to your question. I think so. No sé si está utilizando alguno ya. So you are... Oh. Teacher Arely, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, dejo un mensajito ahí al final del... Uh, I want, I'm going to... Hello, Lewis. Mm, so, hello. Por ese intermedio. Es el último mensajito que dejé por ahí. 
Sí. No. listo, ya lo tengo. Le voy a, le voy a enviar a este, unos websites para que los eh, pueda revisar. Ok. Ok, Saúl. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Right, yes. You're welcome, no problem. Ok. Yeah. Have a good night, Saúl. Good night, teacher. Good night.